So I just found out this super cool plugin for Ableton Live and it allows you to make the decision if the post process you applied on this sound really enhance it or just make it louder. So let's jump into it. History deleted. So unfortunately, this is only for Ableton users with Maxwell Live. I don't know if there's any other plugins that does the same thing for uh, other DAWs. And it's from a guy called Elephant. El Elephant. I'm not sure how to pronounce uh, his name, but I'm showing a picture of his uh, channel right now on the screen. And what he did, so he created this plugin. So what it does exactly. The plugin comes in two parts. So you have the send and the receiver. You have to put the send before your post processing and the receiver at the end. Whatever you you gonna put as an effect in between those two, sometimes it can create um, a loudness effect. So, for example, I'm just gonna mute those. For example, I have this drum loop right now. If I had to put a compressor on it, it would sound louder, right? Because you have to compensate for the gain reduction right here. So to our ears, anything that is louder gonna sound better. The thing is, is it really better? You know, because when I'm doing this, I'm compressing the signal and reducing the dynamic and I'm adding uh, also some distortion with the, this uh, soft knob. So by turning these on, you can really see if your uh, post-processing on your effects uh, enhance the audio or just, you know, decrease the quality of the audio. So let's try it. And right now you can see if I disable this compressor, it's going to be about the same RMS. So the same perceived loudness. So by using this, you can really make some good decision about if your post processing is good or not on a certain sound. Let's take this a little bit further. If I want to put a saturator on my drum like this, we can also analyze the uh, waveform with this uh, LFOs. So th this one is the before and this one is after. Now I'm gonna increase the drive. Let's check it out. We can clearly see that the dynamic is squash and it's a little bit too compressed, right? But if I remove this, and for example, I just added those two together. We would have that as a loop. And then this. If you're producing music for a couple years, you can clearly hear that there's too much distortion on the drums. But if you're new in this domain, you might not necessarily know um, if there's too much distortion on a certain sound or too much processing, it's really hard. So let's try this on another channel. If you want to set up this plugin for a new channel, all you have to do is pop the plugin right here. You, you put the sender at first, the receiver second, and you choose a route. So since on the first one it was route one, just put this one on two. You have 30 routes, so you can put this on 30 different channels. So right now I have this neural base with no process. Right? If I add some post processing. So once again in this situation we can clearly hear that the post process enhanced the uh, audio signal. 
if I had to copy this this uh, rack for uh, whatever reason. <laughs> Right now, you can clearly hear that there, with this example, you can clearly hear that there's too much distortion on the sound. The sound is also too squash. Uh, there's not enough dynamic. So this plugin can really help you to figure that out. Honestly, before recording this video, I was really trying to prove myself that adding too much post-processing can really destroy a sound. But as you can see, like you really have to crank, for example, the saturation on the drums or really like double a rack, a, like a crazy rack on a certain bass to, to get to that point. So if there's something we really have to keep in mind after all this video is that you can really put a lot of post-processing on a sound before destroying it, especially like bass. And secondly, if you're using a lot of post-processing on the sound, you can use this plugin called Compensator to reduce the volume of the output. If you're not on Ableton or don't have a Max for Live, try to put a gain reduction at the end of your chain and really toggle like on off all your plugin to make sure it's the same volume and you really just enhance the sound and not just make it louder, if that makes sense. So that's it for today. I hope you've learned something. If you have any requests or recommendations, let me know down in the comment section. I reply to each and every single one of you. Also, consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.